up through this lovely, beautiful green tunnel. Autumn's definitely later this year. We've had a lot of water, you see. It's kept the trees going. It's certainly, it hasn't been a drought year. I mean, they, weather people probably say, yes, it has. But we have had a lot of rain as well. And I, this time last year, a lot of these trees were brown and lo going down quickly. So what was happening in the world? Yeah, I was talking about poverty and cutting of the universal credit money for a lot of family, for a lot of low-income families, some of whom are both working, the parents. <sighs> to give somebody £20 more a week is nothing really to some people. But it makes a difference. You can buy a lot for 20 Right, that's where I normally get over there. There's a gate here. I wonder if it opens easily. Let's have a look. We're still going uphill and I'm hotter and hotter. Ah, look at that. That was alright, wasn't it? Very, very rarely they have um, cows in here, but very rarely. Just round the corner here, you've got the big old style look. This is what I normally get over. It's always awkward because it's at a slant. We don't want to lose this style though. What will happen with a farmer, it'll make it easy for you to get through the gate. In the end, this will grow over and they can say it don't exist. Right, I can just see some of the slights now. I don't know, I haven't made my mind up that I'm climbing right up them yet. They're usually cows over there. Quite often cows. I can remember, I reckon it was about a year ago, it could have been two years. I met a young couple coming down here. They were staying in the village, but they were going off to Lumoth for a break. And they were going to the Valley of the Rocks. I remember having a nice chat with them. They were really happy walking down here. They had a dog with them. And I, of course, that, why that was special was because it was either two years ago or a year ago, I can't remember, but I said that I'd been there and it was beautiful. And um, so they were looking, really looking forward to it. They were going that day. They were leaving that day. Axbridge Reservoir, Cheddar and Axbridge, Crooks Peak. I won't be going up there till the spring. I don't tend to go up there in the winter. I've got certain walks I do. And uh, believe it or not, What's making this a long walk is the hill, all the way, the hill part of this walk. After this, after once I've done um, Draycott's Lights, it's all downhill back into Cheddar. I'm very close to Cheddar. That's why I class this as an afternoon walk. And I thought to myself, why get up too early? You can do an afternoon one. Through that gap you can see a really big outcrop of the slights where I'll, if I go that way I'll be standing on top of there later. Or something similar anyway. Yeah, I do tend to reflect on the state of the world and moan sometimes as well. Um, I have to be careful, some of it's personal, I do have to edit it though. I really do. Now I know, see there's a line going up through that field. There is another way. I've never tried it down into the village of Draycott. Look at that lovely scene there, look. The 
back of the Mendepster all the way, Crooks Peak, and all the way down to Bring Down and Steep Home. It's a lovely view that, isn't it? More videos to do, Sheila. I've got some videos I'm going to put on. I haven't done them yet. I've got another West Barbara one I did. And I thought I'd give people a break from the first one. It's a couple of months. And then when it's all dark and it's wintry, I'll put the one on I did at the end of August to refresh people's minds. But it was a different route I took. Some of it was the same. But uh, the first part, very, very, very first bit going through the village of West Barbara was the same. But when I got to the church, I took a different route, called the Greenway. Now, fortunately, there is a nice path here, so I'm not getting really, really wet feet either. So there's the avenue. You can see some birds flying high. Sometimes you have the gliders out flying around. There's the little airport over, the, over there. Beautiful views from here. Beautiful views. Not too bad for photography when it's got some blue sky. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to turn off now, take some more pictures, and I'll be walking up there. I'll probably stand on the hill on the top and have a look over. Then I'll be going down, crossing over, and when I get to the gate down there, I'll make the decision whether I'm going to climb up onto the top or just go through. <sighs> I haven't decided yet. Um, I vary it. If I think I'm due to climb up, I think the last time I came I went through the the avenue of trees. Right then folks, this is Sheila, October the 6th, 2021, over at Draycott, making her way to Draycott Slights. Walking across and back to Cheddar, with risks involved, cows. The cows will still probably be out at this time of year. Um, I can't see many in those fields though. Sometimes when it's very wishy-washy weather and fierce storms, they bring them in early because they apparently they can catch things from the mud or something if they get stuck. This is Sheila. Let's go back a minute. There's some pretty climbing up the slides. Right, so this is about video five. Don't forget that does change. I join videos together and sometimes they become part one, which consists of several little videos joined together. So although I'm talking about five and four, in the end it could be just part one, they're all linked. Or part two. Glastonbury will be over there somewhere. We might see that in a minute. Here's a lovely old stone style. Really good old one, this one. Um, so climbing up, I'm going to keep the video rolling a bit. So you can see I have to climb these stiles. Then over there, there's Draycott Slight. See where those people are walking? There's, there are three of them. I can see two. That's a woman. She's got a, yeah. She's got a skirt on. Yeah. There's a, there was another bloke. There was another one. So they're going up there. So that's right. That's um, mixed sexes. And this is how you've got to learn to get over the style. And you see this. This is perfectly shaped. See that? It's well sh shiny. It's perfectly shaped. And this side for you to hold on to while you get over. I didn't video me getting over this one, but um, another view of it there. I might be coming back this way another time on a shorter walk. I might even get the bus to Draycott, do a walk round here and get the bus back at Draycott. I might not always go to Cheddar because there's areas over here full of history. I mean, I went up that way um, last year and did quite a bit, but there were other places I wanted to go, but new time was short and that sort of thing 
Yeah, I went I went all the way up there. What I'm gonna do now, rather than walk straight up, I'm gonna just follow a little pathway here and get up on the top. Uh, this is where you get wet feet as well. Once I go off track. But there is a bit of a track here I can follow. It's not too bad. There's a lovely big crow, a rook or raven. Look. Isn't he lovely? Yeah, that's a raven. Can tell from the echo noise it makes. It looks like there's still some swallows about. Now someone said you can get swallows even up to November sometimes. Most of them do immigrate, but some will hang on. Swallows like to dance and play. I'm not saying they are swallows, they might not be. So that's Draycott slights. I nearly said piney slights because I talk about piney slights a lot. I'm just walking around this little bit of a fort area. And I'll be uh, climbing up on it in a minute. Aha, first glimpse of Glastonbury. There we go, through there. <sighs> Haven't been out there since 2016. Not straightforward. <sighs> Went out there with my bus, Alberta, my camper van, with Zara and Jolene. We went when the Reading, not the Reading, when the um, <coughs> Glastonbury Festival on. <sighs> we went to Glastonbury and we climbed the tour. We could see all the festival from the top. <sighs> yeah, people, they're nearly up the top now, those people. Doing Roman walking, which is short steps, nice and steady, nice and slow. That's how you get by. I'm going to take a picture of Glastonbury when I get further up. Just want to go around a bit more. All little features look. Whether that was man-made, that bit. Not quite sure. But there is a lot of history here and there's a path I wanted to take over there that takes you somewhere. If I'd come out earlier, if I had come out earlier, I probably would have done it. But it could still be cow-fied. It could still be cow-fied. I just go up a bit more. So there we got the Crook's Peak and the Reservoir, Nylon Mound, Brent Knoll, and right over there. I might, I might do a photo here actually, Glastonbury. I might turn off for a minute. Open out.